whereas the 1950s was an age of stars, of performers and faces. The rock and roll of the 1960s was powered by producers, while later there would be Phil Spector and George Martin. First, there was Joe Meek. He was the first producer to use the recording studio as an instrument in its own right, experimenting with echo, reverb and overdubbing within his home studio, situated above a leather goods store in Islington in London. Recorded in 1961, John Layton's Johnny Remember Me was Meek's first number one production. Johnny, remember me. With a beat seeming to ape the 1940 standard, Ghost Riders in the Sky. and its melodramatic, deaf-obsessed, lyrical content. What marked it apart was Meek's production, ghostly backing wails, Leighton's reverb voice and that driving beat layered, each element clear in a way that most early 60s pop wasn't. His most enduring moment was 1962's Telstar, played by his studio band, The Tornadoes. For it, Meek took inspiration from the launch of the titular US satellite, the instrumental music of the shadows, and the organ sound on The Happy Organ by Dave Baby Cortez. Space Age sounds like the main claviolin keyboard riff, overlaid humming and a backwards recording of a toilet flush were used to evoke a rocket ship lifting off. And people loved it. It sold 5 million copies and became the first British record to top both the UK and US charts, and won the Ivor and Novello Award for Best A-Side. Also produced by Meek in the early 1960s were Screaming Lord Such and the Savages, and their horror-themed jam, Jack the Ripper. Released in March 1963, the Garage Rock song was immediately banned on the BBC due to its serial killer content, and so did not chart. But its influence was felt in Alice Cooper, Marilyn Manson, and any other shock rocker throughout the years. Meek's final number one release was The Honeycomb's Have I the Right in 1964. <laughs> with its stomping percussion and experiments in proto-post-punk. By this time though, Meek was out of step. A new band from Liverpool had taken the UK by storm, and their name was... Fun fact, Jerry and the Pacemakers were the first band from Liverpool, produced by George Martin and managed by Brian Epstein to get a UK number one single. How do you do what you do to me? I wish I knew. The second were the Beatles. Call on me and I'll send it along with love from me to you. The pacemakers, Beatles, as well as the searchers represented a new wave of oh, British here rock in 1964, and roll. his lordship will be celebrating his 56th birthday tomorrow. Good night. There's a man walks the streets of London late at night. The Ripper, Jack the Ripper, oh, with a little black bag that's oh so tight. The Ripper, Jack the Ripper, he's got a big black cloak hanging down his back. The Ripper, Jack the Ripper, well, that's a bomb that kind of juice hits you.
have a London kind of never say yay. The yeah. the Whenever Jack the Ripper ever shows his face. The yeah. Jack the Ripper. So you pretty little girl, you better watch your step. The Ripper. Yeah. Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Can I never say yay? The Ripper! Yeah. Jack the Ripper! Yeah! Well, I never ah. said the Ripper ever show his face! Yeah. The Ripper! Yeah. Jack the Ripper! Yeah. So you pretty little girl, you better watch your sound! The Ripper! Yeah. Jack the Ripper! Yeah! And Joe walked the streets of London late at night! She Ripper! Yeah. Jack the Ripper! Yeah. Well, he walks down the street If a girl in me says your name, Mary Blow! Yeah. Dirty pup Shack yeah. Shirty pup Shack Shirty pup Shirty pup pup Good night Shack Shirty pup yeah. Wherever you are <laughs> Good night Wherever you are Shack Shirty pup Yeah Shirty yeah. pup Jack Shirley Bye bye! An evil Christmas to you all! Yeah.